Life is a winding road. These are not trees. I'm sorry. I know. I'll give you some later, okay? For you and your baby, mommy. For you and your baby, okay? Come here, clear. Some things are beyond repair, really. But they need the water. My cauliflower needs it. Although I don't know if it's going to form a head or if it's just going to <laughs> be the flower. You know, it's gonna flower. And this one is about the flower. And you can tell that they are going to bolt because the shape of the leaves they get a little bit more pointy they tend to be more round like this one but then once it bolts it goes into this little spikes and all you can see there I'm gonna leave it so next year we'll use those seeds to grow more now because it bolted doesn't mean that you can't eat this we are <laughs> using it every morning in our smoothies I'm just gonna leave that to go to see. The time, as you can see, it's very, very dry. So I'm gonna do my whole watering routine and I'll show it to you. But this watering routine doesn't really, I mean, I don't do it every day, maybe every three days, but it's been hot, so everything is pretty crumbly and dry. This is a project I'm working on. I need to wet this and then put some straw on top. But this I watered last time, so I'm not gonna water this. You can see the corn is doing very well. The sage is loving the dryness, I guess. So, but I still have to water it because it's very dry. My garden this year really has been ignored. So everything that survived it did because it's pretty resilient <laughs> like here something happened <laughs> and now I have this little I'm assuming it's a weed I don't think I put any flowers here and I've seen this somewhere else so I'm assuming it's that I mean my tomatoes are doing pretty well this is early girl this is Willamette and this is a uh, Roma tomato. Pretty big clusters. But I have to put these pages around it because of something that comes at night and tries to eat everything. And for whatever reason, if they're inside a cage, they haven't touched it. See, that's why I think that's a weed. Because there's another one here. So I think I helped a little bit with the cages. I probably need to get more. And this is what I mean by being unsuccessful. Remember all the onions I planted here? Only one survived. This one right here. Here, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure this is... Maybe it's some kind of squash. And these are some of the carrots. I was very happy because they were super tall, the tops, and the goats love the tops, although you could eat them too, <laughs> but they're coming back. They were eaten by, I assume, if you can see here, a deer. This is my very neglected part of the garden, as you can see, weeds everywhere. but. I am not gonna worry about it today. Probably next time or next weekend. 
this is my asparagus. Again, the deer are helping themselves to the asparagus. I don't know if you can see it there, but they cut the top, they ate the tops. It used to look like this. These tomatoes are growing in my other asparagus thing. Three plants of tomatoes. I am gonna let it go because I think some seeds got in the mix here when I repurpose. See, if they're small, I just pull them. And that's it. But these ones are pretty big, so what, you know, you never know. Might be great tomato plants. And here my echinacea never, never worked. So I have one tomato plant there. These are my hollyhocks, they're red. They're struggling because there's something that wants to eat it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna flower soon for what I'm looking at here. Maybe not. And then here I am gonna do tomatoes because I have quite a few tomato plants left. What I put here didn't work. Uh, here, so you can see, seems like this was some kind of kill. This one is bok choy and it's flowering, which is, means that it's done because it's too hot. And then this one I know is some kind of cucumber. And you can see their little baby flowers. Lots of places, I can't wait for that. Honestly, I am gonna give this to the goats. And I'm gonna let, and I mentioned this when I planted the cucumbers that I was gonna try to do companion planting, but this cucumber plant is gonna take over the whole bed. So I'm not worried about it. And over here was supposed to be my onion, remember? My onion, evergreen onions. Well, nothing sprouted. I assume that the birds ate the seeds. And uh, now I am going to plant something else here. Remove the weeds and plant something else. Probably tomatoes, because I do have a lot of tomatoes still. And tomatoes are always a good thing in my book. This is, well, these are a couple of bean plants that were chewed by the deer. That is some kind of a... I don't even know what to call it. It's not a mushroom, it's a... It's, well, it's something that is growing because of the amount of nitrogen that it's here. You can see it there. It's pretty disgusting. Here I used to have a plant, a little cucumber, pickling cucumber. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put another seed in, hopefully this time the deer won't eat it. But see, I mean, they've been pretty ruthless. This, I think it's another, I don't remember if this is a pickling cucumber or if this is a banana squash or whatever it's called. I'm sure it will take over this bed. So. Not my greatest year in the garden because honestly I haven't been on top of it and I started this fence and it's it's pretty silly really because we're gonna do something else in this space in the future so I didn't want to put a, a permanent fence so I got this frames I got at that farm for free. I still have a lot of them. These pipes that my husband got for free in at work. If something really wanted to go through it. But as long as it deters them from nibbling in my garden, I think it'd be fine. But I'm not happy. I don't like weeds. The fence is not done. And we only have a couple of months left for this particular garden. I mean, some, some things are doing great, look at that. 
my girl is booming and I've been having smoothies every morning but it could be better <laughs>